I want to ask you a few questions about uh, sports. Now, I know you are an avid cricket He's fan. He's a sports buff also. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, India, I mean, you're not a big fan of test cricket. I am. I'm a much bigger fan of test cricket. Are you than sure? India because I've seen tweets of yours where you've criticized the run rate, the way the game goes. Yeah, because a test match is like reading a novel. You just get immersed in it. Exactly. Well, the other thing is something short and sort of so you can quickly fly, fling out so a what reaction. Is, what do you prefer, test match or T20 anytime. or ODI? Any time. What, what's test a, what's a, what, anytime test match. Test matches. Any okay. Time. In fact, my staff know this because with test matches, I make them uh, record live as well as highlights. Mm -hmm. Live, I almost never watch. After a while, it gets deleted. Mm -hmm. But if there's a t highlights are not satisfactory enough and not detailed enough, I may go back to that segment of the live mm -hmm. recorded. To watch it, I'm okay. that that obsessed. Because you know, honestly, I, I often tell people in terms of reading, like a, a test match is like reading a novel, uh, an ODI is like watching a, a movie or see reading a short story, and a, a T20 is like watching a sitcom. <laughs> you have great fun with the last one, but you forget about it within five minutes after it's happened. Uh, the ODI is slightly more memory, perhaps because it took, took a whole day, but the test matches are the real experiences that linger. So I have a question related to each From of my them. childhood, by the way. I have a question. I saw my first test match when I was seven. Oh, wow. Hmm. That young, huh? Uh, where was it? I'm guessing Mumbai? Bombay. Bombay. Yeah, my right. father took me off to the Brabourne Stadium, as it was in those days, to watch the Indian, uh, India's match against the English in okay. 1963-64. Okay. Amazing experience. All right. So, uh, the World Test Championship final is coming up. Hmm. India managed to qualify after beating Australia in this uh, test series that concluded recently. What's your take? Who do you think is going to win? Look, I think Australia are clearly the favourites okay. in the World Test Championship and in the ODI Championship. Mm -hmm. They just have a very, very good team again. Okay. They went through a bit of a slump for a couple mm -hmm. of years, but now they're back at their peak. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not bad, but we have uh, a curious mixture of people whose talents are yet to fully flower. Could and you elaborate on the like, curious bit? No, the curious mixture is there are some who's, who, who, who deserve their place in the mm -hmm. side, but are still raw talents, mm -hmm. and they have... Uh, Great moments of success and brilliance, and some moments of, you know, flabbergasting right, failure. Right, right. Uh, and then we have that, such as Gill and the other. Mm -hmm. And then you've got people um, uh, like Kohli, uh, who have phenomenal levels of achievement, who at their best are the world's best, mm -hmm. but who are not always at their best these days. Uh, and and so, it, who's going to show up on mm -hmm. the actual day and the actual match remains to be seen. I really hope that we will give a good account of ourselves. We have all the ingredients. We have an excellent pace attack, mm -hmm. excellent spin bowling all-rounders, very good batsmen. But if they go there and they fail to perform, what can we do? And why do you think that Australia will win the World Cup, the ODI, the 50 over World Cup, which is being played in India, where India are... Well, we just saw the reason the yesterday, right? We saw the reason mm -hmm. in the Chennai, where the Australians in India defeated an Indian team on home ground mm -hmm. even though they don't have their full strength team they've mm -hmm. got a couple of good players injured uh, but they just have all the ingredients they found the approach and over a three match series um, I think conclusively they were the better side okay uh, what do you what is your opinion about the older players in the team I'm talking about the likes of uh, Rohit Sharma uh, Virat Kohli. I think they're great players. I mean, I think in their own domains, they've been absolutely superb. It's, 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 it's doubtful whether they are any more at their peak mm -hmm. or whether uh, they've begun a little bit of a slide down. I would love to be proven wrong. I mean, okay. I'd love to see uh, a, a big sort of daddy hundred, as they call it, <laughs> from both of them in, a, in, 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 the, in the World Test Final. Okay. Um, uh, but, you know, I've been a huge fan of not just Sharman Kohli, also Pujara. Mm -hmm. But I would say all three are no longer at their very, very best. Okay. I think they're very good players still, okay. and they deserve, they certainly absolutely deserve their places in the test side, no one's better. Mm -hmm. But is their very best, they're, they're amongst the world's best and, and unplayable. Today, will, will, will we see that? I don't know, it remains to be okay. seen. I'm actually going to watch one day of the match. Oh. Uh, uh, the only day, because I find myself by wonderful coincidence invited by the JLF, the Jaipur Literary Festival people for a literary festival at the British Library. Okay. If I go one day early, I catch the second day of the match. Oh, nice. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Sticking with sports, football. Now, Kerala has a huge fan following for football. I mean, it's borderline fanatical. Are you a football fan? No. My sons, my sons are football obsessives, football mm -hmm. tragics. Mm -hmm. they, 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 in fact, my, you know, when their babies were born, they put, put them in Arsenal, uh, Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenal teachers. <laughs> so, so, I mean, uh, they're, they're in a different league. 
and I kind of ceded that space to them and stayed in my cricket. Mm-hmm. But obviously, I know about uh, you know the, the Kochi Blasters, and in my own constituency, I've been strongly supporting over the years a remarkable little football team of of uh, slum children, basically f- uh, fisher folk mm-hmm. from the poorest communities on the sea coast in Kovalam, called the Kovalam Football Club, mm-hmm. which um, has been doing extremely well. And this year has made it to the final four of the Kerala Premier League, despite having coming from nothing. Uh, there's a philanthropist called uh, uh, T.J. Matthew and his American wife Sally, who have put in their labor of love to give these guys, uh, create a hostel for them so they can have meals and training and so on, and just sheer hard work and talent. Uh, it's it's remarkable to see how much can be done. I've been begging all my ambassadorial <laughs> friends in Delhi to come and give us free coaches from any of these big football playing countries. So far it hasn't worked out, but I'm hoping something will come.